Hey Neapolitan fans, Neapolitan gal here. Well, today I'm trying a little something different with my camera. Um, and um, so we're going to be doing a, another BoxyCharm unboxing. I did the March BoxyCharm unboxing on here um, towards the end of last month. My new one came in on Monday and um, it's time to unbox it. I, I'm, I love it already. So um, I'm going to show you the card that came with it and then I'll go through the products and I'm actually going to try and do, obviously I can't do a full face with like button from BoxyCharm from the last two months because I haven't got any foundation. Um, but let's see what we got. So, Hey Neapolo fans, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. So here's the card. And um, this month we've got a few items. Now, this came packaged in this. This is the Natasha Denona Ayana <laughs> eyeshadow palette. This is beautiful, but it is super crazy. We're actually going to use this for a full eye look today. Um, this retails for $48. Oh, wow. That's insane for five shadows. And on the back of this, they call it um, Harlow Lash Line Satin Skin. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Crease and Glam Green. So, and the Glam Green and the um, Satin Skin are both shimmers. These two guys are shimmers. The rest of these are mattes. So we're gonna do an eye look with that today. Our second item on here, now remember with BoxyCharm, I'm gonna do a quick refresher. BoxyCharm is $25 a month for their small box. That small box guarantees you five full-size items and a guaranteed value of those five full-size items, unlike Ipsy and a couple others, those five full-size items are guaranteed to be at least $125. And this is $158 this month, so that's awesome. I got my niece involved in it yesterday. She, I showed her what I did, you know, what I've gotten, and uh, she was like, oh, that's so cool. So I think she signed up for it last night. All right, the next one is one of my favorites. I haven't even tried it yet. We're going to try it for the first time tonight, see if it gives in this redness. Uh, this is Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbert Primer. This stuff looks scary, but it looks pretty good at the same time. It says, lock your looks in place and keep them cool with Icy Sherbert Primer. This gel primer has an instant cooling effect once applied that hydrates and preps your skin for makeup. The formula is silicone free with water capturing technology to lock in moisture and leave your skin feeling silky smooth. So this is, um, 1.76 ounces um, obviously the component which is the packaging that it's in is meant to be extremely pretty uh, but you can see the small little um, container inside the big container and that's where your product is so when you open it up it has a sanitary seal on it it's super heavy components and your sanitary seal is here and that is what it looks like. Um, you get a little bit on your lid. And I don't know. It's hard to describe. If you were a teenager in the 90s, we had this perfume. And it smelled just like an, um, a slurpy. Well, like a slushy. Like the snow cone. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. It smelled just like a snow cone. That's what that stuff smells like. Like a snow cone. Straight up. Uh, that's $32. Um, now, I did check last month, and Sephora and Ulta had all these products, um, and we're moving along. The next product is, and I'm not going to use this tonight, but I will maybe put a little bit on my hand and smell it, um, Georgette Klinger Vitamin C Mask. Um, retails for $36. Bucks. It is supposed to... Revitalize, brighten, even your skin complexion in minutes with a powerful infusion of vitamin C to protect skin and prevent free radical um, 
damage while boosting collagen production, this clay-based mask draws out impurities, allowing uh, um, argan and avocado oils, argan, I'm sorry, argan, I thought it says argan, argan and avocado oils to nourish and revitalize your skin. Um, this is 1.7 ounces, made in USA, cruelty, paraben, and dye-free. Um, the um, primer was, let's see here, it tells me it all. It's a, it's a Korean product, silicone-free primer. You know, and it doesn't say, so I would have say that primer probably isn't all those things. Our next product is Veen Studio, Veen Studio, I'm not quite sure, I don't know anybody on YouTube that even knows how to pronounce it, but here we go. This is Dragon Lash Mascara, instantly create the look of the lash extensions with Dragon Lash Mascara, this lash doubling volumizer mascara lengthens and separates giving you flirty intensity, um, intensely black lashes. Dragon Lash Mascara is a semi-permanent, high-gloss black tubing mascara. Unlike conventional wax-based mascaras, tubing mascaras contain polymers that wrap around the lashes, creating tubes so that they, they don't smudge or flake. Plus, they're easy to remove, making you less likely to experience lash fallout during removal. Hooray for healthy lashes. Oh, and I, I love the component. So I can get this in here so you can see. Looks like um, dragons are all over it. Uh, let's check out the spoolie. The spoolie is um, kind of one-sided like my um, pharmacy uh, mascara. Okay, back in you go. Next, moving right along. Last but not least, Mana Cater Beauty. Pluck it, two-piece um, tweezer sets. Um, these I love, I love, love, love a nice tweezer. Um, not only do I use it for here, but I do get chin hairs, and I like a nice, precise tweezer so I can take care of these guys. These guys drive me crazier than these guys do. But look how beautiful these tweezers are. Uh, trying to get my, uh, there we go. You get a real thin tipped one here, and then this guy has more of your flat um, pieces, so the real thin tip one's probably more for like picking at your blackheads and stuff like that, and the other one's more for the actual tweezer function. Now we have no use for these tonight, even though I've got a few chin hairs. <laughs> All right, so um, let's see what's going on. I just need to check my clock real fast. Okay. Alrighty then, so uh, let's just pull out the Georgette Clinger um, mask. Obviously, I'm not going to put it on, but um, this is the component. And uh, comes with a pump. And we'll pump just a little bit on our hands. Now, this sounds more liquidy. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it has a color to it. This did say it was a clay-based, so it goes on super smooth. It doesn't really have any smell to it. I would expect it would have had some sort of vitamin C smell to it, but it could just be me, but I also just put a tiny little bit in my hand, so. All right, so. Let's find that sherbet, nice. All right, so, um, oh, I do want to show you one more thing I got from um, Amazon. I believe I paid either 6 or $8 for this pack. Um, my beauty sponges were lacking sorely. They, I could never, couldn't clean them any longer. But I bought these, and I'll put the listing um, in this video someplace or just a link down below in the description. But, so, that is the new uh, makeup sponge you're going to see me using. But let's see what this... Um, this Touch and Soul Icy Primer is all about. I think I'm going to use the what's on the back of here first. 
and I will just use that with my finger. Ooh, that is a bit much. Put some of that back in. This has a, like I said, it smells sort of like a, um, a old fashioned snow cone. But it also gives me a little bit of um, rose smell to it. Not heavy. So we're gonna touch my nose and then we're gonna put this stuff on. So I went, um, I had to go over to Miami airport the other day and pick some people up. And when I did, because I've gotten really into TikTok, TikTok a lot lately, because it's easier to make a quick TikTok video than it is to make one of these videos and and have to edit it and all that good stuff. Not that I don't mind, not that I mind doing it. I love making YouTube videos. A lot of times I just don't have time for the content. Um, too much stuff been going on in my life lately. Um, so, um, so I decided to make an afternoon of a trip. I didn't have to pick up uh, the people from the airport until Oh gosh, probably like 3.30 or so, 3.30 quarter to 4 because they were coming in from out of the country, which meant, which meant they had um, customs and all that good jazz to go through. So I went across, um, for those of you who don't know, um, I live in Naples, Florida. And in Naples, Florida, we have two ways to get to Miami and Fort Lauderdale from here. We can go the highway, which is I-75, um, and you can also go across US 41, which takes you directly to Miami. No, no. And um, so I um, decided to take US 41. Now, if some of y'all are thinking, hey, wait a minute, doesn't that like take you through the Florida Everglades? Yes, yes, it does. So, yes, I went, drove through the Florida Everglades. Um, um, and I stopped a few places along the way, and I found this one really cool park called Kirby Storter um, State Park, and I took a little walk about. <laughs> I also stopped at two places along the way, um, just pulled off the road and you know took some took some videos. So I think I am going to um, continue to do that. I really wanted to use my um, pharmacy foundation, but I think oh, okay, it's just. Bent. Okay, so I now if you guys don't know, I do sell pharmacy um, makeup, not pH but FA. Um, so we're gonna use a little bit of pharmacy foundation tonight since it's a little bit more high end foundation than my normal stuff. Um, just because since this is a higher end um, primer, might as well use a higher end foundation, right? I will tell you all about this foundation here in just a second. Um, in the meantime, you know, I'm not going to do my full neck uh, because I'm just putting this on for this video. I'm going to pick my son from work, maybe go have a drink or two with my husband next door to where we live, and then come home and take it all off. <laughs> so, um, gorgeous. So yeah. So this is the Pharmacy VFX Pro Camera Ready Foundation. I believe this is either color one or color two. Um, the link's down in the description for my store. Um, I own some pharmacy products. Um, it's been crazy this past year. I've had a bit, oh, gosh, I actually started selling it in September, but it's been, nutty well, I guess I am gonna do the rest of my neck <laughs> it's been kind of nutty this past year my family party. and um, oh, on, uh, US 41 heading into the Everglades, in the Everglades. Just, just a lot of stuff going on you know I mean like a lot of folks so got that on my hand now what I keep doing is this thing's bent for some reason I think it got bent in travel a couple months ago so it's just you know it curves off to the right a little bit so do my neck and I know, 
people are cringing right now watching me wipe this on my neck, but I've got a big fat neck. So, all right. What I do like about the VFX foundation is it does make me look like I've got a natural tan. Um, the person that's above the person that I'm below told me the wrong color. So they forgot how fair skinned I am. <laughs> and that's what I wound up with. Now, my next product that I'm going to use, this is not from BoxyCharm, but I am going to use it. It's a color corrector, um, conceal and correct palette from. Um, Hard candy. Now, I believe this retails for six or eight dollars on their website. Um, I actually found this at Dollar Tree, so I paid a dollar for it. Um, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of concealer under my eyes with this. Um, it comes with a little brush. All right, so under my eyes. I'm not gonna use my finger instead. A little bit more. There we go. Now, if you notice, I did not use the same finger that I dipped into the palette with to spread it. I wanted to make sure that um, anything on my face didn't wind up back on the pan. So, but this time I didn't do that because I'm, I'm probably not going to go back into it much. Um, brightened up under my under eyes nicely. There we go. I'll use my pinky this time around to do other areas. Go into the one right beside it. All right, and then um, I guess a little bit down my noodle. <laughs> and down here. All right, so yeah. All right. So next, um, I have started using uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Um, so we're gonna put a little bit of that on now. If you've never used this stuff before, honestly, a little dab will do you. That tiny little bit right there will do both eyes. So um, rub our fingers too. Now, my last boxy charm, you guys saw me use this um, setting spray. The uh, Maven Rosewater Setting Spray. I will tell you, if you got to do something all day, oops, sorry. Um, if you got to do something all day, that's going to require your makeup not to move. I highly recommend that particular product. That product, I kid you not, my makeup hasn't moved. Anytime I've used that product, my makeup has stayed in place, stayed put, nothing moved, nothing. So if you've got something to do and you need a good makeup um, setting spray that you know is gonna work, I implore you, please go buy that product because it's just insane. All right, so this is my pharmacy makeup. Um, contour stick and I usually just kind of dip my head down to see where my contour will go and I know exactly where my contour goes but I'll usually do this and then this and then under here and same thing over here and down one down I, guys, I am going to totally mess up my husband. Going over to have a drink with him a little bit later, be made up. He's going to wonder what the heck I've been up to. But, okay, so. Now that was a cream contour, which makes it really nice. It's, it smooths on well, um, blends up super well. 
and um, now pharmacy products are great. Yes, they are a um, they're like just like um, with the company at least. They're just like Avon and Mary Kay, um, where they really want you to be a quote unquote leader. They want you to have a team. I'm not a team player. I signed up for pharmacy for the 50% discount. Uh, my mother-in-law has been my one and only customer. My mother has thought about buying stuff, but she's had some medical bills with her little dog over the last, you know, however long, but three, for the last seven months. Um, and um, so she's been holding back on buying products. Now this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon. Um, blush palette and what I do is I take the bottom of my sponge and I twist it in there like so and then um, gives me a beautiful color on the, you know, on the cheeks without being powdery and what have you so there's that now I think my eyeshadow primer has plenty of time to have set by now so we are going to go in and check out these guys. So we are going to put these on the way they kind of want us to put them on, I guess. So let's grab my Morphe. Dum dum dum. Morphe M412. And let's brush that off a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Harlow as an all over. Ooh, Fallout City. Look at that in the pan. Wow. For $48, I'm really glad I didn't buy that with my own, you know, didn't buy that. Wow, that's insane. For $48, that much, that much of Fallout, you're gonna lose half of it just to fall out. Half of this, you'll never get a, you'll, you'll never get a chance to use half this eyeshadow. That's crazy. All right, so, in the crease, we are going to go in with, I can't even see this, Satin Skin. Actually, no, I'm gonna go in with um, Crease. Crease color, oh, that's even worse with the fallout. That's just crazy, crazy. Uh, Boxy Charm, we'll go back to Boxy Charm for a second. They actually like you to, well, that's a really, it's a really nice color though. They like you to go back into their um, website after you've received your products and tried them all and rate them of how you like them. Um, I don't know what the rating system is for, if it's so you never receive products from the company again, if you never get products like that again, or what it's for, but um, I'll be rating this palette. It's a beautiful palette, but when you lose half of your stuff, it's not great. Um, I'm not doing a cut crease tonight because, again, I'm going to pick my son up from work here a little while, I go see my husband for a drink, and I come home. So. Um, so we are going to go in with Satin Skin. And it's a shimmer. Um, you know, that one didn't have quite as much fallout as the rest, but, you know. And that is a nice shimmer. Now, I know, cringing, she's not blending. That's okay, trust me. Trust me. I will get my blending brush out here in just a moment because I do want to use the green color that goes with this. So here comes my Morphe 524. Make sure there's nothing on there. Uh, let's blend this baby out. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, so 
And then we're gonna go in with that green, glam green. We're gonna continue with my Morphe 412. I just brushed it off. This is a really nice green color. Got a text message. Looks like I'm gonna have to finish up my makeup real quick and get back to this person. So, what do we need left here? Oh, yes. The liner color. There we are. This is an Ulta eyeshadow, thin eyeshadow brush. I'm going to use the um, lash line color. Definitely going to need to knock that off. Okay. I'm just going to pack that onto the lash line. Ah, a little bit of color payout on that. And then last but not least, um, I was going to put some magnetic lashes on, but I'm not going to tonight since I've got a, a best friend emergency to attend to. So, let's finish this up. There we go. Looks good. All right, so let's try out this mascara and then on I go. Okay. So, there's my wand. I'm going to my face probably easier. This is nice. I think my um, pharmacy mascara works nicer, but that's you know just just me. Sorry, hello. I think I got a little bit of powder in my eye. Um, all right, so let's put on some gloss. Um, some lipstick here. This is a pharmacy sample here of hot, hot Tahiti. This on. This is the um, the lip product that I got um, last boxy charm. All right, and my setting spray. Final thoughts. I love the look. Um, would I have spent $48 on that Natasha Denona um, palette? No. Will I recommend that palette? For someone who can afford the palette, yes, I will recommend it. Um, if, the, if the person doesn't mind spending that kind of money on a palette that um, has that kind of fallout. And I did, ha did not have nowhere near as much fallout with the Venus 3 palette from last month's box. Or the hip dot cash, oh, sorry, C note. Almost no fallout from either one of those last month. So I would recommend those, especially for the price point over the Natasha Denona, but they're good. Okay, well, that's my full face. Um, I've got some stuff to attend to before I pick my son up from work here shortly. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.